this week on the Spotlight. We talked to Derek Rose, and he has a few answers. And then we move on and talk to Mr. Aaron Brooks, and he has some interesting answers. And then we flash back to the old Bulls and Luke Longley from the 90s, and he's fun to talk to. And then we go to the championship trivia match for 2015. No answers yet. Well, some answers. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, this is the 27th year of the Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. You got to get to Calabri Imports, Italian Foods, Deli. Mention this TV ad for a free Joe tea with a sandwich order. It's at 1905 West 103rd Street. They have great stuff. I'll shop there. I'll see you there. Calabria Imports. You've got to get to the Cove for Benkowski Trivia Wednesday, January 13th, 8 p.m. Great people, great game on 55th. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. Calabria Imports has Italian foods and a great deli. You mention this TV ad, and you get a free Joe T with a sandwich order. Conveniently located at 1905 West 103rd Street, Calabria Imports has great stuff. Check it out. I do all the time. Since 1967, El Jardin has been serving the finest Mexican food. Before, after, during ball games, located conveniently just three blocks south of Wrigley Field, 3335 North Clark. Whether there's a game or not, you still get hungry, and El Jardin has great service, great food, and great drinks. I've enjoyed every meal I've had there, and you will too. So get to El Jardin for great Mexican food at 3335 North Clark Street in Chicago. You'll be glad you did. You've got to get to Dr. Sherman Clay, chiropractor. Gentle adjusting, most insurance accepted. Massage therapy, too. Walk-ins are welcome. Call 773-324-4325. That's HEAL, Dr. Sherman Clay. You've got to get to the family dentist, Lawrence Ferlin. 109th and Kedzie, crowns, veneers, cleanings, improving your smile at 773-323-7044. That's 109th and Kedzie. They do a great job for me. They'll do a great job for you. Family dentist, Lawrence Ferlin. We're back in the spotlight, and I always enjoy talking to Derek Rose. He grew up, oh, maybe about four miles from where I grew up on the beautiful southwest side. And uh, we've actually joked about it a few times. And it just feels like uh, talking to your neighbor. He's incredibly down to earth, uh, way more normal than I think uh, some of the printed stories you might read in the paper, if you read the paper, or uh, even the talk radio blasts on him. Uh, he's a pretty normal guy uh, as far as our conversations go. And uh, this is a good example of it as he talks candidly after a Bulls win. He compliments a myriad of teammates because he knows that it takes a... Uh, eight nine ten to win a crown uh, not just one or two play great um, uh, like I said earlier they, they look more organized um, they knew who was getting the ball who was shooting the ball and um, everybody wasn't stagnant when one person caught the ball so it looked all right yeah, there's so much talent obviously on this team does it always boil down to just energy if you guys supply the energy that you have a effort. pretty good an effort, effort pretty good chance to win effort um, them two things if we bring them two things like who knows man um, we have a problem with teams that's under 500 um, I'd rather have that problem than <laughs> than to have a, a huge problem where we're under 500 um, with our record so um, I've been on both sides before and 
it's a little bit better on this side. I can't lie. You probably mentioned before that you encouraging to see my snap. For sure, for sure. Tone for someone that hasn't been playing um, that much in these recent past game. I mean, these past recent games, and for him to come in and have the confidence that he had and take the shots that he took, um, it, it changed the game. To tell you the truth. How about Bobby Portis? What kind of lift Bobby, man, I always talk to Bobby, you know, he sit next to me um, here in the locker room. And um, whenever he's working now or wherever I see him working now, I always make sure I talk to him, tell him to keep going because who knows, man, um, later on, it's a long season. They think about the postseason. We're, we're going to need everybody. What does it mean for your team when you get that kind of balance from the starters and the reserves? We could be a dangerous team, but the biggest thing for us is energy and effort every game. I think energy and effort will – um, change, it would have changed some of the games that we lost to them, teams that were under 500, um, teams that's over 500 or whatever, we come out and compete, but we just got to change it. Derek, when you're sitting down, you're watching most of the second unit, and they're excelling like that, do you have mixed feelings, like wishing you were in there? Um, no, no, um, I, I kind of see, uh, I sit back and just um, analyze the game, kind of, seeing if, um, if I was in there, um, what would we run? Um, AB did a good job tonight with attacking, making sure that everybody um, was keying in on him so that Tone could have some of the shots that he had. And when you got everybody, we're an offensive team, but if you had got everybody playing that type of way, it's hard to guard people with the weapons that we have on this team. Thanks, Derek. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater Candles, they want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop, give them a call, 708-474-1212. Kim G. Sherman, psychotherapist, Displains Wellness Center. Therapy for individuals, couples, families. Call 847-962-4849. I've known Kim for over 20 years. She is a true professional, and she will help you. Give her a call. Family Dentist, Lawrence Furland, DDS, 109th and Kedzie, crowns, veneers, cleanings, improving your smile. They do a great job. Call 773-233-7044. Excellent work, impeccable. Call the family dentist, 773-233-7044. They did a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. You've got to get to Del Sur Mexican Restaurant. Open for lunch and dinner daily, a spectacular new menu. And trivia begins Friday, January 15th at 6 p.m. Easy to reach at 46th and Halsted. You've got to get there and try it out. It's really top shelf. Del Sur, Mexican restaurant, lunch and dinner, my trivia show, and 46th and Halsted. Just park over there on 46th. It's easy. All right, let's get to the awards. We're going to do some awards. It's always a warm way to start. And, of course... There are six fallen comrades that we have named our awards after, and uh, I hope we can start naming our awards after presidents or, or other things, uh, but we do have six. And um, the Hidalgo Award is a Lifetime Achievement Award. We do not have a winner this year. It's named after Doc Hidalgo, who uh, was a premier player in Dyer, Indiana for many years, he and his wife. Uh, kind of made the whole Northwest Indiana thing happen, which actually has extended all the way to Portage, Indiana, another county. And then a lot of it has to do with their leadership and attendance and solid play. The Jeff Cherisi Award goes to the championship team that wins this tournament today. So we don't know who that's going to be yet, but that's in honor of Jeff Cherisi, who many of those who played at Salernos and other venues know what a super guy he was. All right, now we're gonna give out these other four awards. Uh, it's the, the newest award, has to do with a player we lost in the summer. Uh, the team called the Sharks, uh, know this man so well. It's the Sandy Lord Award. 
And Sandy was a player of gigantic enthusiasm. Uh, he really loved the game and always had ideas and suggestions for me. Uh, he, he played uh, with great intensity, and this, this award has some intensity to it. Could be a Mr. or Ms. Intensity Award. People who appreciate the game, have ideas, have thoughts, let me know those thoughts. Let other teams know their thoughts. Sometimes other teams aren't crazy about hearing those other thoughts, but it's still cool. Um, one of the things that I learned at, Sa at Sandy's funeral service was what an incredible reader he was and a lover of books. And I think it's apropos that the first Sandy Lord Award not only goes to somebody who loves to read books, but loves to write books. And the first winner of the Sandy Lord Award from the Cove is Joanne Fastoff. Come here and accept your paper. Trophy forthcoming to your site. I love your ideas, I love your thoughts, even when it's stop being a sexist. <laughs> you are great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know too many authors, I feel honored. Alright, we continue. Uh, the Patrick Flaherty Award. Uh, for the best thrower, and uh, JMB knows all so well. Uh, that Patrick was their guy, and certainly not anymore, but in the past at some really hostile venues where people were cussing and throwing things, and Patrick had to fake the throw and then let the missiles pass by, and <laughs> was just incredibly good at it. Uh, I'm selecting a player today, and it was a tough choice, but this player very consistent, always in attendance, uh, very good uh, and solid on his uh, backspin throws. You know, I, I was kind of leaning towards somebody who's good at the long ball, uh, and there's not many people who, who can say they're great at from long distance, but I'm telling you, this player is very consistent, and uh, no, nobody who focuses harder when he's making the throw. Uh, representing Lansing, Illinois, Tom Johnston. Wear, but except this fine paper and, and, a, and a trophy to follow. <laughs> All right. Got a couple more. A couple left. The Jerry Pontarelli Award. And uh, those of you who know him know what a sports whiz he was. And a, not only great sports acumen, but such a consummate Chicago guy uh, with a super Chicago accent. And he called me Patrick Swayze. He would come up to me during games and say, Swayze, when are you going to do more sports in the game? And so he'd say, sorry, Jerry, it's going the other direction. But uh, we have a couple of sports categories today, if that helps you. Uh, this player has been super consistent at, at the sports categories, really for well over 10 years, and certainly here at the SOC. Uh, I don't believe he's in attendance tonight, but I'm going to ask... Um, uh, a friend of his to step up and accept the award for sports acumen for this year. The award goes to Jeff Golick. And Adam, can you come up and accept for him? <laughs> Give him that paper and tell him more on the way. I know he'll be thrilled. Look at this paper, he could almost read it. All right, we got one more. And uh, the folks in Lansing know this very well. It's called the Jake Award. Jake was my boss in Lansing for several years. He passed away at the age of 26. And, uh, you know, he's deeply remembered. He put his imprint on the trivia game uh, as a result of his uh, urging. It's the only game that has three throws per game. Um, but he also was very uh, encouraging and accepting of young new teams. And so the Jake Award is the Rookie of the Year team. And uh, it was also a battle in my mind of figuring out, because we had a lot of good new talent this year. But uh, this team has made an impact at a very tough house. 
uh, with not a tremendous large team either, but they're very tough and they're part of the Lansing traveling team tonight. The Rookies of the Year, Team Lucky. Someone step up and represent Team Lucky. Congratulations, a trophy is on the way. We we'll bring it to Lansing, Illinois. Thank you. All right, those are our trophy winners for this portion of the game. The championship to follow. And starting next week, we'll have action from the 2015 championship match each week on the Spotlight. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Alsip, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous grade of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget, the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. You know you should get to the Dirty Sock on alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. when I do my trivia game. They have great food, great drink, great people at 93rd and Roberts Road. It's a fun place. I've been going there for years. So start coming out on Thursday nights at least. I'll see you at 8 o'clock. We'll have fun. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie does tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Papa Joe's new location, 5900 West 111th Street. Italian beef, tetrazzini, great pizza, parmesan, ravioli, and more. All my classic choices. New location, and they can still deliver into the city. Get to Papa Joe's. We're back on the spotlight, and my recollections of Aaron Brooks from last year were you didn't know what to expect. Sometimes it would be great scoring and bad defense and throwing the ball around and uh, sometimes a little slow on the scoring. But when he was on, he's on. And in the particular game that we were just at, Aaron Brooks was on. And uh, not so much just scoring, but as a facilitator. That's the new fancy word for good passer who finds people that are open. And so uh, in this particular game, uh, he was finding Tony Snow a lot. And so he talks about the dynamic of, uh, of that, of the second unit's excellence. Who, and they stayed in for big chunks of the second half, leaving uh, the Gasols and the Roses of the world sitting down. And what I didn't exactly know was that's their goal. Your group with uh, Snell and Taj and Portis and Jimmy uh, really put on the afterburners in that fourth quarter. Can you can you talk about leading that charge? Um, just wanted to be aggressive. Uh, come on, play hard. I think uh, you know everybody played well today, but Tony especially after uh, you know sitting out for a while. Come on, he had a break, good game. You uh, were obviously looking for him, but uh, obviously you drew attention to yourself too, and. Uh, and was able to find open men all the time? Um, you know, the first half, uh, you know, the defense, uh, they was playing back a little bit, so I was able to attack. And, you know, second half, they made the adjustments start blitzing me. So just wanted to open up and make the easy play. And, uh, you know, this team has, you know, a lot of talented guys, and the bigs are very capable of making plays. So didn't want to do too much. Just, uh, you know, gave them the ball and let them do what they do. Here in the long season, ups and downs, obviously, in an NBA season. But you think you guys turned the corner here a little bit over the last week or so? Um. You know, it's ups and downs throughout the season. Um, you know, we got to do a better job of bringing our focus to every single game. Um, I don't think that's, you know, everybody knows that. And uh, 
but uh, we came ready to play. You know, it's a good team. It's a good win. But uh, you know, we just got to come ready to play every game. Seems to you like Derek is starting to get his feet under him a little bit the last few games. Yeah, Derek is fine. I think uh, you know, phenomenal player. Uh, you know, he's starting to see that uh, he's starting to attack a little more, and uh, you know, he's just he's coming along. You know, he's been through a lot, so it's good to see him. You know, attacking more and, and getting to the hole like the one we're used to. Aaron, what did you make of the Tony Snell's game tonight? It seems like he was very confident. Man, very confident. Big shots. Uh, you know, he's he's one of the key reasons why we won the game. Uh, hit some big threes, and uh, you know. Play very well. Did you, uh, is that kind of a different look than what you've seen? We have a bunch of looks. <laughs> we have a bunch of looks on this team, and uh, you know, you never know any given day. So, um, you know, Tony stepped up, but it's a lot. Like I said, there's a lot of talent on this team, and uh, you know, guys just got to step up when their when their name is called. Were you aware that you and Portis were on such a roll? You had 19 in the first. You had the first 19 points in the second quarter. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to be aggressive. Um, you know. Uh, back to you know getting to some getting to layups, being more aggressive, attacking the hole. I'm seeing that the uh, you know the refs was you know calling some some fouls today, so uh, just wanted to be more aggressive and draw some contact when I got in there. Aaron, coach read you guys down the stretch in the fourth quarter. We don't usually see that much. Of that. Does that help the second unit you know, finishing a game like that? I mean, that's your goal every time you go in for the end of the third quarter and the fourth is to make sure the starters don't have to come back in. And uh, if you can do that, you did your job. And uh, the longer you know, they can rest, <laughs> you know, that's better for us. So um, I think my goal is every time I go in, go in you know, I want to leave Derek on the bench and rest him. And, you know, that's that's my job. It was encouraging, you know, your bench struggled a little bit in the previous game and all, you know, like you guys came together pretty well. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we just got to – it's a it's a new it's a new team out there and we got to figure out how, you know, implement Bobby in there, um, you know, what he can do. And uh, just getting used to playing with each other. That was kind of a unique group of five. Uh, had you played with that group much? I, I don't remember it. We play against the we play against the number one team all the time. Well, you know, Jimmy decided to join us at the end of the game. But uh, you know, a win's a win. This is a big game. Like I said, this team's been playing very well. Uh, we have the same amount of losses, so um, that was a big game. Do you think? Uh, sure. Do you think like looking to the new year, that that equal effort against? Uh, you know, a losing team versus a, you know, a, a team ahead of you in the standings is is there? So. Yeah, you were host that we can bring in every single game, but uh, I mean, with that said, we got to. But I also rather have it this way than the other. So, um, but we definitely got to do a lot better. You've got to get to Oliver's 6100 West 159th Street for my live trivia game. The next one, Thursday, January 7th, at 7 p.m. A fun time for everybody when we play. Use all. Got to get to Jack's too. 3325 Ridge Road in Lansing every Tuesday at 7 p.m. This is the most intense game on the circuit. We've had five different winners in the last five weeks. Jack's. Perfect pitch auto repair at what 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect pitch auto repair, 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere, from the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink, at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. You better get to Jackie's Hot Dogs, open past midnight seven days. Two Polish and Fry, 569. Euros Plate with Big Fries, 859. Big Baby Double Cheese, 285. Tamales, Italian beef, pizza puff shakes, chicken breast, onion rings, and more at 5415 South Pulaski. They have it all going on at Jackie's Hot Dogs 
I highly recommend it. I eat there periodically. I love it. You should try it too. We're back in the spotlight, and as we come to you, the Bulls are already in the midst of their road trip, and uh, Luke Longley's going to kind of give us a little synopsis of some of the cities that they visit. And uh, Luke, I'm, I'm more concerned with the back half of the trip, so I'm going to start with, uh, you got a game coming up at Seattle. Uh, I remember in the old days, Horace Grant used to always get a little revved up because he had to play that smart mouth Gary Payton. Uh, what about that as a motivator? Well, I think the whole team uh, motivates us, obviously, because of the finals experience last year, and they're one of the people that we may well have to contend with towards the end of the year. Um, you know, it's a hard place to win. Seattle and, of course, Lakers, you know, LA's a, a, lot of distraction in, a lot of distractions in LA. That town can, can get you uh, playing some bad basketball if you're not careful. Yeah, you had a little problem in California last time out, I think, right? Yeah, I'll keep out of the surf this time. Um, Portland now, that's a team with a, it's had a lot of talent over the years, but with changing faces, never seem to be able to put it together. But up there, they're pretty tough to play. Yeah, they've been playing very well, and uh, they got you know they got some great big guys up there, so it'll be hard work for me, that's for sure. Tell us a little bit about how close you are to being back where you want to be. I mean, the recuperating process, the game conditioning, uh, in percentages maybe. Well, physically, I'm, I'm sort of, you know, 70, 80 percent. I feel pretty good. I'm still not, not playing good basketball. Don't have, don't have a good sense of it. But hopefully by the time we're out west, I will have had enough, enough court time to, you know, to, to be feeling good about it again. You know, they say a shooter can shoot himself into a rhythm. You know, obviously, you can't really rebound yourself into rhythm, but, you know, what about the idea of just taking the ball to the hole a few times and, uh, you know, maybe taking a knock on it and maybe feeling a little more confident that you can hold up with contact? Right, well, I haven't had any problem with contact on the shoulder, so it's not a, not a question of feeling as though I'm, uh, you know, second-guessing my shoulder at all. So what would be the missing link to, to bringing you back to where you, where you want to be? I wish I knew, mate. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be there. It's just a question of being, it's sort of a, a timing rhythm, you know. Basketball's not, it's not like, uh, it's not exactly like riding a bike, you know. Some people can go back out there and just start playing again. Obviously, some people take some little while to get back in sync. You know, a lot has been said about your physical stature as a defensive presence. Uh, certainly, teams aren't taking the ball to the hole the way they did uh, when you were away. Uh, do you feel feel a certain, uh, I don't know, intimidation factor that people are trying to move the ball around you rather than through you? Yeah, certainly. Well, I hope so. That's kind of my role on the team. And more than anything else is to clog the middle and uh, you know not let anyone penetrate with the ball or, or anything like that. So, you know, I, I certainly hope that people are, are avoiding me and, and, and sort of keeping it on the perimeter, yeah. To wrap up, with Dennis Rodman out, uh, tell us how that adds to any rebounding pressures you have or uh, enhances uh, some of your defensive responsibilities. Both. It adds, certainly adds to my rebounding pressure because, you know, that's, that's 16 or 17 rebounds a game we don't get. And everybody's been picking up a slack. Michael, Scotty, uh, Tony, everyone's been rebounding more. Um, and defensively, obviously, i just got to do to work hard to cover more ground. I get the hard, the, the, the difficult guy to defend the post every night instead of every second night. See you next week. The Lansing Floral Shop. Call for your flowers at 708-474-1212. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound, saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing. Call 708-396-1010.